The Poem That Will Not End Fun with Poetic Forms and Voices by Joan Bransfield Graham Illustrated by Kirsten Brooker After most poems in this selection, you'll see a label that identifies the poem's form. You'll learn more about these forms in Ryan O'Brien's Guide to Poetic Forms at the end of the selection. It started with a rhythm, a rhythm and a rhyme. It wouldn't let me stop. It ate up all my time. Rhythm I was seized by a rhythmical beat. It was something I could not delete. I went crazy with rhyme. It just gobbled my time. Had me clapping and tapping my feet. Limerick I tried to eat my breakfast, but didn't hesitate. To scribble on the napkins and doodle cross my plate. Going Bananas Baby brother loves to smear banana every place. Then squeeze it through his fingers and wipe it on his face. He blows banana bubbles and makes banana goo. Oh, yuck, ugh, ooh, what a mess. I'd like to do that too. It teased me as I walked to school. I scrawled on Eddie's shirt. Footprints Smooth patch of white snow Stretched out before watchful eyes An invitation Ryan O'Brien Haiku And when we hit the playground I scratched words in the dirt The baseball game The kids creamed the teachers Listen to the score the third graders beat them, 25 to 4. We got them out at second. We caught their pop flies. We got them out at home plate, much to their surprise. When we scored all the home runs, we screamed and made a fuss. We may get D's in English, but in baseball, we're A+. Quatrains Then in the cafeteria, with just two tasty tries, between my lunch and Amy's, I wrote two lines with fries. Couplet for French fries. Two lines are not enough to express how much I adore your potato ness. Couplet. I ran outside at recess, pulled out a piece of chalk, didn't waste a minute, dashed poems on the walk. Recess, rambunctious, excitement, centering around, excessive, silly stuff. Acrostic, captured. I'm captured, won't you help me find a way to free me from this urgent need to write? It follows me and hounds me night and day. I'm captured, won't you help me find a way? To toss aside this curse, I want to play. You must admit, this is a scary sight. I'm captured. Won't you help me find a way? To free me from this urgent need to write? Triolet I beg you, won't you help me? Please help me. Be a friend. Rescue me. I'm captured. This poem will not end. The bell rang and I bolted. Wasn't running out of steam. I wrote with mud out in the yard. Chased by the soccer team. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. You are the center, son of our universe. We are planets orbiting your supreme presence. Hoping to rocket you like a blazing comet into the galaxy of our goal. Concrete, free verse. I ran right home and grabbed my bike. Can I escape this curse? My wheels were doing curly cues and writing lines of verse. Bike. Step on. I am wheels and gears. I am speed. I will heed your slightest command. I will take you anywhere. I am wind in your hair. I am things unsaid. I'm the road ahead. Skateboard. 
Hip hop, pop and ollie, can't stop, gotta go with the flow, fast past, over above, skim, grinding the curbs and grooves. I've got the moves. Concrete. My skateboard might be better. I found it just in time to whiz away at top speed and leave a trail of rhyme. Peas. My mouth is filled with peas. No matter how I wheeze, I can't hold back this sneeze. Tercet. Dinner was no different. I had. I had to sneeze. I looked up at the kitchen wall and saw three lines in peas. The ditty that I wrote that night was delectable and meaty. I inked with marker on my toes a new kind of graffiti. Feet. My feet. They can't stay still. They are always moving to some cool rhythm I hear in my head. Sincane used pickup sticks for limericks. Wrote Sincane in the rain. Stacked sonnets up the staircase. Good grief, this is insane. Conductor. In storms, I can conduct a symphony. I stand in front of all those instruments, and wow, I feel excited. What suspense! As all those sounds become a part of me, I play the wind, the thunder, and the sea. I am in charge. This power is intense. A world of rhythm that is huge, immense. It swirls about me, wild and mightily. I get to choose the singer and the song. With my baton, I tell them when to start. We work together, great, and I belong. It's fun to be the leader, be a part of all those sounds that sweep about so strong, that echo in the drumming of my heart. Sonnet. My brain went into overdrive. I started writing faster, careening wild at breakneck speed. A poetry disaster. Fever. I cannot stop this fever in my brain. I feel compelled to write and write and write, day in day out. The words just fall like rain. Is there some way that I can plug the drain to rescue me, to save me from this plight? I cannot stop this fever in my brain. I've stepped on board a rhythm kind of train that's traveling, zooming at the speed of light, day in day out. The words just fall like rain. What made this happen? No one can explain. I toss and turn and twist each sleepless night. I cannot stop this fever in my brain. What's that? You say that I should not complain? I'm tired and hungry. But you might be right. Day in, day out, the words just fall like rain. Now I just wrote this villanelle refrain. Hey, maybe I should not put up a fight. I cannot stop this fever in my brain. Day in, day out, the words just fall like rain. Villanelle. My mom called up. Are you in bed? But I could hardly hear her. I'd found a tube of toothpaste and was writing in the mirror. Handsome. You're handsome, smart, and wonderful. You're special, like no other. Ah, you're just saying that. You have to. You're my mother. I spent a restless night and thought, whatever can I do? When I woke up, I found my pillows covered with haiku. Sleep. Why is it I can never remember the last moment before sleep? Haiku. Goose down pillow. My head sinks into the feathered pillow. I think I hear geese whisper. Haiku. Fishing. There are poems that swim in my head. They take form as I lie in my bed.
With my pen for a hook, I might quick have a look, and then catch them on paper instead. Limerick. Tired. I am so tired. I'm part of the bed, a cover pressed against the sheets, dangling limply down the sides. Free verse. I dragged into the classroom as the bell began to ring. My teacher's next assignment: write a poem about spring. Speechless. Sometimes when I am asked to speak, my tongue shrivels, dries, and disappears, and then my mouth becomes a hollow bell with no ringer. Tonka. Blank verse. I'm running out of steam. I've got to halt. This inspiration spree has reached its end. My fevered brain train screeches, breaks, and stops. It pulls in, finds a track where it can rest. Blank verse. My spring was sprung with this assault. My brain came grinding to a halt. My mind became a total blank. And I have dear Miss Frost to thank. P.S. I asked Miss Frost, instead of the poem about spring, can I turn in some of my recent work? If I write it on paper, she said yes. Miss Frost is so cool. I even got an A plus. Life is good. To be more informed about poetic forms, I did some digging. Here's what I discovered. Ryan O'Brien's Guide to Poetic Forms. Acrostic. If you spell a word, it could be your name. Downward. You can use each of the letters as the beginning of a word or phrase. Example: recess. Blank verse. Blank verse is unrhymed iambic pentameter. To find out about that last part, keep reading. Example. Blank verse. Syncane. Say syncane. The secret code for this poem is two four six eight two. Two syllables beats on the first line, four beats on the next, then six beats eight, and back to two beats in the last line. It's a building thought wave that crashes and leaves some treasure. Example: feet. Concrete poem. It's a picture poem that takes the shape of what it's about. Word art, sculpting with words. Use simple shapes. Make it easy to read. Experiment on your computer. Try out different fonts to see which works best. A major blast. Examples: soccer ball, skateboard. Couplet. Two lines that usually rhyme. Example: couplet for French fries. Foot, feet. Music has a beat. Poetry has feet. Each foot contains beats, which are either stressed or unstressed. I am's surprise and anapests in my head have a rising rhythm. Trochees, lightning, and dactyls. Rhythmical have a falling rhythm. There are many other kinds of feet, but these are the most common. Free verse, a poem written without using a fixed formal pattern of rhythm and rhyme. Examples: soccer ball, tired. Haiku, a Japanese form which, in only seventeen syllables, five seven five. Can create a feeling or paint a scene. Usually, it's about nature and is written now in present tense. Makes you say "aha" or "oh yeah." Examples: footprints, sleep, and goose down pillow. Limerick: a funny five-line poem written in iams and anapes. Lines one, two, and five have three feet and rhyme. And lines three and four have two feet and rhyme. Examples: rhythm, fishing, pentameter.
five feet to each line. Examples: captured, conductor, fever, and blank verse are all written in iambic pentameter. In storms, I can conduct a symphony. Quatrain: a four-line stanza or poem that usually rhymes. Code: a b c b, a b a b, a b b a. The letters tell which lines rhyme with each other. Examples: going bananas and the baseball game. Both have a b c b quatrains. Rhyme: a repetition of sounds at the ends of words and usually at the end of a line. Score: four. Flies: surprise. Fuss: a plus. The kids creamed the teachers. Listen to the score. The third graders beat them twenty-five to four. No, a poem doesn't have to rhyme. Rhyme can boss you around. Don't let it. And please do not throw in any dumb word just to rhyme. Examples: going bananas, the baseball game, peas, and handsome, to mention a few. Rhythm, arrangement, flow. Measured motion, regular beat of words, meter learning to move to the groove. Sonnet. Was I channeling some thirteenth-century Italian poet? The code for this is A B B A A B B A C D E C D E or C D C D C D. There is an octave. Eight lines and a sestet, six lines. In the octave, there are two envelope rhymes. That's the B B part tucked into the middles. For a Shakespearean sonnet, the code is this: A B A B C D C D E F E F G G. Both are fourteen lines of iambic pentameter. Example: conductor. Is an Italian sonnet, A B B A A B B A C D C D C D. Stanza, a pattern or grouping of lines in a poem. Couplet, two lines. Tercet, three. Quatrain, four. Quintet, five. Sestet, six. Septet, seven. Octave, eight. Tonka, a Japanese form which includes a haiku and adds two more seven-syllable lines to extend or change the meaning. Five seven five seven seven. Example: speechless. Tercet, a three-line, usually rhyming poem or stanza. Example: peas. Triolet. This eight-line form has one line that repeats three times. Lines one, four, and seven are the same. Lines two and eight also match. The first two lines become the last two lines. Got it? Code: A B A A A B A B. Example: Captured. Villanelle, written in iambic pentameter, a French form. Usually five stanzas of three lines each, with a final stanza of four lines. There are two strong repeating lines. To see the pattern of how this puzzle fits together, look at fever. If you get two good repeating lines and two sets of words that have lots of rhymes, you can do this. Example: fever, voices. You know how you can make your voice scary or funny. Well, you can create different voices in poems too. Narrative, a storytelling poem. Examples: Going bananas, the baseball game. Lyrical, explore the music of words and individual feelings. In fact, the words to songs are called lyrics. You are an important part of this poem, and often pronouns such as me, my, and I are used. Examples. Conductor, fever, mask. When you put on a mask, like at Halloween, and speak from the viewpoint of the object itself, 
You are using the mask or persona voice. Example, bike. The bike gets to talk for itself. Apostrophe or address. This is a poem where you address or speak to something or someone who doesn't answer. Example, soccer ball. I love talking to the soccer ball. Conversational. In this voice, at least two people or things are speaking with each other in a conversation. Example, handsome. Lots of great books can help you learn more about all the forms, voices, and choices you can try when you write your own poems. Have fun! Happy reading, happy writing! PPS from Ryan. If you show your teacher you wrote a villanelle or a sonnet, she's going to be so impressed. She might even faint, or give you extra credit, or both. You should definitely try it.